figured we'd start by the um, sunflowers. These are Mexican sunflowers. Um, they're actually in one gallon pots, kind of recessed into the ground. By the way, good evening, guys. Thanks for watching. If you could, please subscribe. Um, we enjoy all you guys' comments and stuff. Leave them below. I decided I'm going to just do update videos on the garden because it's hard to get out here and do specific things. Um, so we're going to go maybe every two, three, four days and do an update video on the pumpkins, how big they're getting, on anything we get cleaned up and stuff. And how things are going in the garden from here on out like how the worms are doing so we'll go ahead and walk through the garden and show you again what things are doing in the garden um next one might not be for four or five days we actually have to go away to um take kayla to college but i'm gonna try to do an update every two three four days though to show you guys what's going on in the garden so let's get through this video and Today is August 11th. You guys seen on August 9th um, how the pumpkins and the worms were doing. We'll go show you them again because I'm doing something different with the worms to get them to reproduce more from what I've read online. So we'll show you what I did last night and what I'm going to feed them now. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get another update before we get back from taking Kayla to, before we leave to take Kayla to college on Saturday. But you guys might not see this until Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm hoping with the cooler weather, we get some rain. Today, we got 1.67 inches of rain, which is really good for the garden. Um, I'm hoping we get some when we go because we don't have anybody to water the mums up there. But we'll see. You guys will see too. We'll get through this. So we're going to go through this. These hanging baskets, they'll come back if we... We're hoping when we come back to, it's going to be cooler. We'll be able to deadhead all this. It'll grow back. Um, all these. Now, we're not going to sell them again. We're just going to make them pretty unless somebody wanted to buy them. These runners need to be cut off um, so they produce more. We have a lot of tomatoes still growing. Look at this big tomato. Oh, it's no good. Something ate into it. I'm going to pick that one before it ripens. But that'll go to the worms because they eat a lot from what I am finding out. This is all weeds in here with tomato plants. And there are some roses. There's roses in here. Um, there's tomato. I don't even know where the tomato plants are. We're going to clean this up one day. But we have tomatoes in buckets. Look at them all down here. So we've gotten a lot of tomatoes so far off this garden. Very happy. We have them all the way up here. Now the blight is still spreading with all the rain. Hopefully the cooler temps will take care of that. But we don't get late blight, hopefully. Um... All these are our plants we bought to sell. We haven't really been doing the market because we've been really busy with getting Kayla ready to go to college. Rachel did pick some apples this week, guys, and she, I think, blanched them to freeze them. I'll have to let you guys know. A lot of this stuff is dying back now. The raised garden bed didn't do so good because, I'll show you, the soil isn't the best in it. Look at this big pepper. Wow, maybe if I pick it, it'll do some more growing, but I doubt it. That's a nice pepper. I don't know, we'll see when the cooler weather sets in. We are supposed to be really cool. I should deadhead all this. So we're gonna cut all these back. You see how it's old and like blah. We haven't cleaned it out in a while. We're gonna cut all this stuff back, cut them back, cut the roses back so they rebloom again this year into the fall and get this cleaned up. This, The garden is a mess, guys, but that's what happens when we get this late into the season. So let's take a walk down here and see what's going on in the garden over here. Look at this crazy sunflower. The pot fell over, it bent down and grew up and it's got a head coming on it now. Cool, right? And then these ones, there's all kinds of stuff in pots here. And I don't consider this a failure. This is all still pretty, even with the weeds in. We'll get it all cleaned up when we get back. Um, echinacea, we're gonna get all the seeds. I'm gonna try to put, a, I gotta see about how to germinate them, if we can put them in a in the free fridge over the winter to overwinter them. See, these tomatoes will be good still. Blight definitely setting in. Oh, look at the marigold. It did come back. So I don't know how these peppers and stuff are still alive. A lot of this stuff we got to pick again. 
We just got a whole bunch. Rachel made more stuff. You guys know the garden gets busy. Um, this is one of them big gourds like I showed you last week. So not bad. I'm going to bring these things up. So a lot of these I'm going to bring up where I can concentrate on watering them better. Oh, I bet you there are seeds in here. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to take them. So let's go over to... Oh, so that's all the pots that are above ground in the garden. It's starting to rain again. I think we're supposed to get a lot more rain. That's all the pots that are above ground in the garden. These are all the plants I planted in the ground, and they're still doing pretty good. I mean, the beans are past our... They look a little dingy, but all my peppers are still doing good. I'm going to pick these for stuffed peppers. Look at them. And look, there's a spot on this one here, but you can still use that, but I'll give it to the worms. So nothing really goes bad because we have the chickens that eat it. And then we have the worms that devour it, apparently. I put all them tomatoes in there a week ago and they're already eaten. So we do finally have some white pumpkins I found. I don't know if I'll find any, that, I don't know what that is, but right here, We'll see if it gets bigger. Let's, I don't see any more in here. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes, but I set up the tiki torches up there so I can be out here some more. See, there's one, two, and they're getting big, so they're pollinated. Two, you can hunt in here and see. Look how big these leaves are, guys. That's massive, ain't it? Look at the leaves on this. And I haven't fertilized them in a little bit. So there's another one back there, another little one right here, another one right here. This is gonna be pretty cool. I just hope we have enough time. It's August 11th, um, and I hope we don't get an early freeze this year. So far, this is our biggest one. And if you wanna see in context to how big my hand is. Oh. I don't know if there's another bigger one in there. I don't think so. But if these things grow about a foot and a half every week or every day, and they haven't had too much water, but they got a lot today. So we'll see these when we come back. And I hope no bugs ever get, don't get to them. So anybody grow giant pumpkins, want to give me some tips? So far, so good. So these get bigger and bigger every day, which is what we're going for. Some of them already have buds starting to form on them. Look, this was a pop-up. Beautiful. Another rose bush, a pop-up red bud. So we have volunteer plants that come up in here all the time. We um, like to uh, just keep them. And where's the ones that have bud? And Rachel told me they flower in early September. Is that what she said? Right here. They flower, I think these ones, in early September, or was it these ones? No. It was these ones, I think. Rachel said. Cool, right? So not bad, guys. Look, we're gonna see if the bugs stay away. And we didn't get all the mums in the ground, so that's the difference when you don't get them into bigger pots. These mums, were, they're the same moms. We got them just around the same time. We just, they've been in the cells for longer, so they're not gonna be as big. But I think a lot of people will buy the moms. These were almost dead yesterday. I heavily watered them because um, they were almost dead. They were under the tree up front. So that's what I'm doing, gradually bringing everything up front back up to the top here so I can keep it watered easier. Hopefully this keeps, oh, look at this. Oh man, we have blueberries, guys. Cool. That's all flocks. I'm getting it to reroot into these pear trees. And then next year I'll rip them all out of there. And then there'll have to be flocks in there. I explained that last time. That's for anybody who's um, new to the channel. So hopefully this keeps the mosquitoes away. And our strawberries are coming back some. I don't know, we'll see. If they don't, they don't. If we only get a few that come back, hopefully I get half of them to come back. So we'll see about that. This thing, I have to 
I have to set a rope up here because it's slowly and slowly encroaching into my little walkway here, guys. And remember how big little this was? All the rain. This is starting to get bigger. We haven't had a problem with the groundhog. He hasn't been back here. And we are getting new peppers, new little peppers. So we'll get another flush of peppers for going into the end of the season. Because it's... We gotta take a money tree. Kayla wants to bring it to college with her. One of them's hers. Nice, and look, I water these when they get consistent. That's the thing, guys, water. When I wasn't watering these, they started turning yellow and now they're turning green, but we're not gonna get any peppers off of them. <clears throat> here's my <clears throat> here's my morning glory. So this patch in the garden is, the, I really like this. It looks really pretty right here. This is Rachel's Cosmos. She planted in here. Man, we had zinnias in here, but they did not make it. They got too overtaken by the so remember, if you want zinnias and cosmos to grow together, you've got to kind of have the zinnias bigger first. Um, get them about a foot, two foot tall, and then plant cosmos around. That way the zinnias come up and take over there. But my wild morning glory and weeds, we have, look, nuts edge. That's yellow nuts edge that comes up in you guys' lawn. Um, that's a pain in the butt, but you can get rid of it. You just got to spray it. Um, I'm trying to get this... Is it coming this way? Uh-oh, thunder. I had a morning glory vine, oh, right here. I'm trying to get this one to grow this way. Don't wanna break it, but I'm trying to get it to grow all the way up this banister. Look, just so many plants. Okay, now we're up at the worm buckets. Now, last night, Oh, these are doing much better. I forget to water these, and then that's when they suffer. I'm going to tie this up before I leave. I don't want it to really... Oh, maybe I'll just take it through the hanging baskets up here. But I got to do that with two hands. Um, we're, gonna... we're up at the worm buckets. So we're finishing off at the worm buckets, and that is a lot of gnats. And watch, you guys will see what I did with these. Let me take them down here. See if the worms liked it. They say it does. We'll have to see. We're going to go by the tiki torches. Okay, let me get some gloves on. I watched something online and they said to puree the stuff up and feed it to the worms. And they supposedly love it. But it seems like the other things like it better. Let's see. Is there worms under here? Oh, yeah. Wow, look at all these worms, guys, right at the surface. Oh, so they love this. That's a good sign. So I'm gonna puree all the food up. This right here is corn. It's a mixture of... Where are you guys going? Watch out for the mosquitoes. Can we take one of your torches? Yeah, but don't put it in your car. I was going really. Take that one right there. This one? Yeah. I don't know if it 100% helps, but but I I don't know if I've gotten bitten up here, but I got bit down there. So yeah, this is um this is ground up corn, um tomatoes and a bunch of other things. I'm gonna start pureeing all the worm food. It's way easier for them to digest. It helps them reproduce faster. And from what I understand, I can get 23 fold worms in a matter of like, I think they said months, I think a month or so, every 28 days. They, um, every 28 days they reproduce. One worm drops two to three eggs a week. So if you have 250 worms in here and one's dropping two to three eggs a week, and that's in the optimal conditions, but they eat this stuff so fast. Like the tomatoes I put in were gone within a week and I put a bunch of tomatoes. So I'm gonna feed these and we'll check on them when we get back from taking uh, Kayla to college, guys. Hey guys, we're gonna end this video soon. Hopefully you guys like that quick little walkthrough. Like I said, we're just gonna do, oh, whoa. I almost threw some of the worms out. So that's a really good sign when your worms are right to the top there. Let's dig down a little, look at them. So I'm doing really good on this worm bucket. 
I don't know what they're, they're eating them. So now with this batch that I have here, let's take the grinding part. Oh, that didn't, that didn't grind all the way. So with this batch, and I'm gonna put it down a little bit more deeper. And um, in about a month, we're gonna count out these worms again in one bucket, do a test bucket. So this batch, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in. So I have enough for a bunch of them. This is ground up watermelon, corn cobs, and tomatoes. And supposedly they like this and it'll help them reproduce. But I'm gonna cover it up because the last one had mosquito or gnats all in it. And then we just cover this back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this to all these buckets. And the reason, so the reason I'm doing these worm buckets and I'm gonna keep on multiplying on more and more and there's a mosquito flying out around me. So I'm gonna hurry up. It's hard to get things done when all these mosquitoes are around. So what I'm gonna do with these worms, the whole goal is to recycle all of it, to use everything going forward. When we open our big farm, if I can have 500 of these buckets and feed all of our decaying stuff to these, to the worms and then reproduce for the stuff to fertilize all the plants and then use the uh, soil amendment, the worm compost um, to do a soil amendment, soil amendment for all these plants, just so we can not have to spend money on stuff. It should be, I mean, if you grow all the vegetables and you don't use them all, you can feed them to the worms. In turn, they eat them and in turn, they poop out the beneficial stuff and you give that to your plants. And then that should save us a lot of money on waste, a lot of money on um, fertilizer for the plants. And we'll still put other stuff down. Like um, I like to use mushroom compost and stuff um, and fertilize them. Unless I'm producing just a ridiculous amount of worm compost, um, then I'll have to use some other stuff. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed that update. We will be back after we get back from our little trip to New Bern. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, be happy or at least try. Have a good night.